video, I will be showing you guys how to make the interior of Domino's Pizza in Minecraft. This interior includes a waiting area, a storage room, a kitchen, a walk-in fridge, a walk-in freezer, and a bathroom. I hope you guys do end up enjoying this tutorial. If you do, um, be sure to smash a like and subscribe uh, and turn notifications so you don't miss another tutorial like this one. Uh, and also, sorry about my window glare. Um, just, I need to get better curtains. But anyway, uh, let's get straight on into this tutorial. To make the inside of your dominoes, you're going to need quite a bit of materials. Um, I would recommend grabbing a large chest and also um, grabbing a uh, another small chest here. But um, basically what you're going to need, you're going to need a casio door, black stained glass block, blue concrete, quartz bricks, black carpet, painting, uh, bookshelf, deep plate tile stairs, birchwood planks, red concrete, light blue stained glass, um, trip wire hook, polished black stone slab, pumpkin pie, item frame, black concrete, spruce sign, dark oak door, brown shulker box, beehive, barrel, stone stairs, sea lantern, chisel quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, cauldron, spruce trap door, weighted pressure plate, um, stone button, banner pattern, um, Oh, yeah, banner pattern. You can do any banner pattern. Pink dye, empty map, uh, white banner with blue um, dye, light blue dye to be specific. Um, smooth quartz block, smoker, stone brick wall, crimson door, brewing stand, anvil, grindstone, shears, iron axe. Um, these two are optional. Um, chest, beetroot soup, iron trap door, paper, stone cutter, detector rail, uh, polished black stone button, light gray concrete, like, uh, or polished andesite stairs, iron bars, baked potato, brown mushroom, uh, basically any of the food is optional, so don't have to worry about that, um, but anyway, uh, let's see, let's get into this, so, you know what, the first thing we're gonna do before we, uh, grab any certain materials is we're actually just gonna go ahead and completely come to our dominoes and just completely dig out, um, we're just going to completely dig out the flooring. It's going to be a lot easier doing this, uh, so we don't have to do it beforehand and have to dig out every single individual room. So just go ahead and um, just dig out this entire, just, just basically just dig out all the grass inside your dominoes. Okay, guys, and once you have dug out all the grass, we're going to go ahead and lay out the room. So I pretty much already did it. It's going to be a lot easier if I've already done it, and then I'll just do it for you guys. Now, we, before we actually do that, however... Uh, I know I just said we're going to do it. We actually need to do something else really quick here. Um, we're going to go ahead and actually fill up behind like the windows here. So it covers up like the red concrete and the white concrete um, and also the terracotta just to kind of smooth off the interior. So we're just going to do this up to here. So you want to do this for both these windows um, and yeah, it just makes it just really cleans out, cl cleans off the interior. Um, just kind of smooths everything out. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead. You're going to want to do this. Um, and once you have done that to both the sides, that look looks pretty good. It kind of cleans everything off. Now, what you can go ahead and do now is go ahead and extend your um, blue concrete from like behind the um, birch there like so. All right, um, and let me go ahead, let me go to the other building here, because I feel like, um, okay, all right, so what you're going to want to do is, um, so we're going to kind of make like the airlock, so you actually want to um, dig out the three blocks at the end here like this, so if we come to like this corner right here, so we pretty much already extended this down like this, so you extend this, like, this blue corner, if you haven't already, to extend the blue corner down to the bottom, but I think we, yeah, no, we already did that, um, when we built the restaurant, so never mind, but yeah, you want to dig out the three blocks on either side, and then, um, from the top there, you want to connect, and then just go ahead and fill the rest of this in with blue concrete, like that. All right, and now we can go ahead and do the flooring. So um, go ahead, first off, just anything that's not inside the birch right now, um, just for right now, go ahead and fill up with um, quartz bricks, including the inside of the airlock room. That's what this is right here, the inside of this blue tower. It's what's called an airlock. Usually when you walk inside a building, there's usually like a little room that you're walking into before you walk into the actual building. That's what an airlock is. I don't know why... It doesn't, obviously it doesn't take away any oxygen, but, um, 
or it doesn't like lock any air in. I don't know why they call it an airlock, but yeah, basically you want to go ahead and fill out that all up with quartz bricks. And then you also want to go ahead and fill, um, the, uh, actually we need to actually, wow. Okay. I'm so stupid. I don't know why I thought, to... okay. Wow. I just messed that up. Um, so anyway, yeah, well, I was an idiot. For, I forgot and realized that we didn't even like, I didn't even show you guys how to lay out the inside. Okay. See you guys, I'm so bad at this. Okay, so you wanna come to this wall right here. So you guys can see this is the entrance, this wall right here. You wanna grab your birch wood planks and you basically wanna leave a gap of one, come to this wall right here at the end and then you just wanna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks going down into the ground and you wanna leave a gap of one. And then you just wanna go ahead and extend this all the way to the wall right there, that seventh block, you wanna extend all the way to the wall. From there, from the seventh block, you wanna leave a gap of one, two, three, and then on the fourth block extend up to the wall and then come back down to here and then leave another gap of three and then extend the other then extend the other fourth block up to the wall and then from there uh you want to leave a gap of two from those um you just those planks you just extended up to the wall leave a gap of two going up and then connect them together and then that's to separate the bathroom uh the fridge freezer and then the kitchen and then right here, uh, this, um, you just extend it over to the wall. You want to extend until it is one block away from the wall and then extend to the wall. Um, uh, so you guys can pretty much see how that goes. It's to lay out the storage room, the kitchen, fridge, freezer, bathroom. So I apologize. I completely forgot to show you guys how to do that. But yeah, and then you want to fill everything outside of the birch with the stone bricks. Yeah, again, I apologize about that. I, I actually completely forgot to show you guys how to make, um, um, to completely lay out the interior, but yeah, uh, and now what you're going to want to do is basically, um, fill in every little, like, um, space here in, uh, in the, um, the stone, uh, in the birch, except for the fridge and freezer, uh, you actually want to grab a block of netherite, which I actually completely forgot to include in the item list, and I apologize about that, uh, or I guess the chest of items, but whatever, still, and those want to be for the fridge and freezer, um, um, but then everything else is pretty much, uh, quartz bricks for the flooring. Uh, not sure why it just, it provides a nice contrast and the bricks add detail to the flooring. I don't know why you guys can of course use whatever flooring you want. I just thought quartz bricks looked nice. So yeah. And then once you've done that, wow. Okay. Now you've completely done the, excuse me, the flooring, and then you can actually go ahead and extend, um, every wall like up up to the ceiling up, up to the roof basically except for this right here because this is where, where the counter is going to go like where you order your pizza or i guess where you pick it up this is where this is the one part you do not want to extend up to the wall but literally everywhere else um you want to extend up so everything between these like two uh wood planks here you just don't want to fill up because that's again going to be the counter of course we'll knock out like the door and stuff so everything else you know the, the doorways and stuff so we'll go ahead and fill up everything else um, and I'm not going to include this in the video because I know this is already going to get too long. So yeah, so just everywhere that, you know, all these birch outlines, except for right here, you want to go ahead and extend up to the ceiling. Okay, guys, once you have extended up your walls, you're going to come to the airlock and go ahead and place um, two rows of um, black stained glass on the sides of this, these like gaps, basically, that we made and, and connect at the top. Uh, and you want to go ahead and do that uh, on this other side. And then you want to go ahead and put acacia acacia doors in them and then that pretty much concludes um at least part of the uh, airlock what you want to go ahead and do next is install a ceiling and that's what we're going to go ahead and do uh I, well after we after we add the doors um we're going to install a ceiling but we're going to go ahead and do this in the airlock just to get it done so just take your quartz brick and just above the windows uh like where the red concrete is uh, you want to just go ahead, oops, and make a, just a big square of, uh, chisel quartz, and then just kind of put like a plus in the middle of it like this. And then in each of the four corners here, you want to put a sea lantern and that's the, and that's the, um, airlock. Very simple. You can do whatever you want in here. You can maybe add like books or bookshelves or like old magazines, I guess, but I don't know. Domino's doesn't really have that. I don't think, but, um, of course do what you want in here. Uh, I left it plain cause I mean whatever. Oh, actually I did add, um, some black carpet, which I don't know if I included that. I think I did. Uh, yes. Okay. So grab your, oops, not painting. Gosh, darn it. Your black carpet. Um, and then just go ahead and you can put this in front of the doors. This is kind of like, you know, if it's snowing, you can wipe your feet off, you know, so you don't slip, um, or anything. So you can do that. Um, so yeah, put that back there. 
Um, go ahead and put away your black stained glass block. You won't need that anymore. Uh, go ahead and grab your dark oak doors now. All right. I could. I guess you could have also gotten rid of your acacia door, but whatever. You didn't need your glass block either, so... All right, so for the doors, you want to grab dark oak door. For the bathroom door, you want to come to this little section here. You want to leave a gap of one from the end, then just dig out two blocks, and then go ahead and dig out the birch and put the uh, the quartz brick, and then just put the door there. Put the bathroom door. All right, over here, uh, come to this little hallway, leave a gap of one from this back wall, dig out two blocks, and then quartz brick or dark oak door. Come in here. You want to dig out uh, a row of uh, two. It's going to be just uh, two... Um, so it's going to be like uh, like right here. So it's basically like where you see where we have this row of, of birch here for like the counter. Uh, you want to leave a gap of one from there. And then you want to just basically dig out two blocks. Um, you can put doors here if you want. I just made this like a walkway. So I didn't actually put doors here. But you guys can feel free to do that. Oh, and also um, the iron door for the um, uh, for this back door. Of course, you want to go ahead and put back there if you've deleted it. Um, for over here, this is going to be how you get into the fridge and freezer. So you're going to leave a gap one from this wall and then just knock out two blocks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of our acacia door. We don't need them anymore. Grab your block in netherite if you uh, don't have it. And then also right over here where this wall is, going to get into the freezer. You're going to knock out that block, uh, those two blocks. And these are, are going to be where you put your crimson doors. They just look like, like, you know, like those big freezer doors. I don't know why. I just, they, these really just stand out to me and they look like, when they look like freezer doors. Of course, use whatever door you want. I just think the free, the, the crimson doors look great there. Um, but yeah, uh, and then once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and add the ceiling. So the ceiling uh, for in here is actually just one block, like above the windows. Uh, and then you just want to go ahead and uh, put... Uh, crimson, or not crimson, what am I saying? Chiseled quartz block, there we go. And just kind of wrap it like all the way around uh, the inside wall, I guess, except for in here. But, um, but yeah, just kind of, you know, just kind of, like I said, just kind of wrap it around the inside of dominoes here. You can do that. Um, oh, I, su I suppose there's going to be a menu board here, so you probably want to connect it there. So, like, just front there. Um... You know what? You know what? It'll be a lot easier if you actually just go ahead and fill in the entire ceiling with the, you know, like, instead of framing it, it's going to be a lot easier just to, um, go ahead and fill up this entire thing. Just, instead of not, not leaving any gaps, just go ahead and fill up everything. Uh, and that includes the kitchen, of course, so you want to go ahead, um, and for the kitchen, it is exactly, okay, so two blocks above the door. So we have the entrance right here, one, two, it's just two blocks above it, and then again, we're just going to completely fill this in. You know, not worrying about the lights just yet. Um, I'll have to go back and look and see how the lights are laid out. But I think they're kind of laid out kind of weird. I think they're mostly like, um, okay, how much is it? I think, okay, 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 it's two blocks above. So, again, even in the freezer, it's, um, no. Okay, no, okay, it's in here. Okay, good. Um, and then in the, uh, uh, in the, oh, okay, sorry. In the fri uh, freezer as well, so. Um, but yeah, um, so just go ahead and do that. And, uh, yeah, let's go look at the, uh, the dominoes, the original dominoes here. The freezer for that, or not the freezer, what am I saying? The, uh, the lighting. So we did the lighting in here. Uh, so I think the lighting in here is really just like one block. Yeah, so it's mostly all just one block away, all the we'll sea lanterns are, so... All right, so to light up the ceiling and dominoes, you guys saw the inside here. We're not going to light up these little hallways here, like where they lead to the doors. So if you guys know what I mean, like, I could like, so for the, it's like, so where like the bathroom door is and also where the, uh, uh, the door to get to the, like in the storage room is, um, you want to just go ahead and, um, yeah, we're not going to light those up. If you want to, you guys can put some lanterns in there, but that's not how it was designed. So that's not how I'm going to do it. But, uh, yeah, literally just like, um, uh, I think we should light this up a little differently. I think, uh, so like where we have the, this side of the airlock that faces like where to where the bathroom is, um, just kind of put like two blocks in the middle and then just extend, um, down. Just go ahead and put these in here. It's already so dark in here. I just I don't, I just want to go ahead and start lighting this up, but, uh, up until it gets to here, I think right here. Yeah. We're going to have a, um, menu board. So go ahead and get rid of your block and netherite. Um, let's see, grab your black concrete. Um, and you're also going to need your birch slab, get rid of your iron door. Oh, did we not? Oh, what the heck? I didn't. Okay. 
I didn't even include birch slab. See, this is why, like, I like I, I always forget the most important materials. It's so annoying. Okay, so black, so black concrete above here. This is again a menu board, and then just um, um, birch slab underneath that to kind of um, detail it a little bit. And then uh, blue concrete on the sides here. Um, I think it's two blue concrete. Yeah, two blue concrete. I think right. Yeah, hang on. Let me look. I'm I'm still not 100 percent sure. Uh, I can always I can just look through the window. I don't gotta. Yeah. Okay. So it is two. Okay. So two blue concrete on the sides to where like where I said not to fill up because again this is like where the counter is. You guys can see. So. All right, uh, so yeah, this is the, oh, actually, yes, yeah, so you can go ahead and extend this. It wants to be one block away from the menu board and one block away from the end here, and then you can actually go ahead and do the same thing over here, so you can just kind of do like one block away here. Yeah, honestly, this is a lot better than how it was originally, so uh, just kind of do the same thing in, in here in the storage room. Um, oh, actually, yeah, no, actually, you want to go ahead and um, just have like two rows like this, so you guys can kind of see how I'm doing this. So it's like one block away from the sides and top and bottom, but they're two blocks away in the middle and they're three blocks. So that's how you light up the storage room. Uh, the kitchen, uh, it's the same way as the storage room, literally the exact same way. Uh, except over here, it's actually uh, two blocks away from the wall instead of uh, one, because we actually have like ovens and stuff here. So if we, and then also we have this corner part here, which this is actually important. You actually want to keep this here. Um, and then in the fridge and freezer is literally just one block. So yeah, literally a fridge and freezer. Oh, uh, well the freezer is two blocks, but the fridge, you only put one. Or I guess you could put them in the corners if you wanted to, like if you wanted to do like uh, four in here for like each of the corners, but I think one looks like a lot better. And then finally the bathroom um, is quite literally just, uh, oh, we didn't even put a ceiling in here. Wow. Okay. So it's, yeah, two blocks above the entrance. So you just want to go ahead, fill that up in here. Uh, and then you just want to light that up in here. And uh, yeah, literally, so it's just one block. So literally, it's just a row of light, like just one block away from my, either from either side. And uh, yeah, so that's the, and then that's the, um, that's the entire like ceiling lit up. So uh, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, now that we got everything lit up, uh, we can actually go ahead and start adding details, guys. So, all right. So what we're going to need for... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with making like the di the seating area like where you wait for your pizza So you want to go ahead and grab your red concrete um, You're gonna need light blue stained glass trip wire hook polished blackstone slab. You're gonna need pumpkin pie. You're gonna need item frames uh, You're gonna need spruce sign um, You're gonna need bookshelves and you're gonna need deep slate tile stairs I'm sure you're gonna need more stuff, but this is what we'll grab for now. Uh, but between these blue, these two blue um, concretes here, you just want to put... Oh, actually, you could extend this if you wanted to. But um, yeah, so you can just put, yeah, just red concrete in the middle there. Uh, on this black concrete here, you want to put item frames and then just pumpkin pies. These are simply meant to be like a menu board and the pumpkin pie is meant to be pizza. Um, so pretty simple. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we see we need like the stone stairs there, but we can always grab those later um okay let's see i think it's yeah right here so like where we have this first blue concrete here we actually want to do four uh light blue stained glass um trip wire hook on the right side and then polish blackstone slab on the top just like that and i think let me just double check just to make sure that that's actually right um because you know i could be wrong okay no i was right okay actually okay so you actually want Okay, okay, we did this part wrong. Okay, let me look. Okay, okay, I, I, I know, I know, I see, I keep saying okay, I know, I'm very annoying. All right, so it looks like uh, we can go ahead and put get rid of our pumpkin pies for now. Um, you want to actually put a row of um, birch here. Uh, so it turns out there actually doesn't want to be black concrete, you know, or part of the mini word there, but everywhere else there does want to be, and then you can go ahead and grab your blue concrete and put the blue concrete there. And there we go. So that's how that's supposed to be. Okay, yeah, see, I wasn't, see, I was, that's why I was, like, really confused if I did that right. Now, uh, the first sign just wants to go by the bathroom door. This is where you just type in uh, restroom. Uh, I'm just going to try to type in WC for water closet or bathroom. So, uh, and you can, over here, you can even put, like, employees only if you wanted to. Um, so look pretty good uh and then i think it's just bookshelves and then chairs but let me just double check again i gotta make sure i'm doing this right because otherwise uh you know i tell you guys to do the wrong things and then you know it doesn't end up being as uh it should be okay and then we also have a seat on this side okay uh and you can actually go ahead and get rid of your spruce sign once you got them um with 
painting. So get ready to sign, grab painting, um, and then get ready to red concrete. Go ahead and grab the stone stairs. And then, uh, so yeah, so right where we have this little, this is actually meant to be a, like a drinks, like fridge, like the, like where you buy like, you know, bottled soda. So beside that, you want to put bookshelf, get one bookshelf, get one bookshelf, and then between it, the deep place style stairs. These are simply meant, this is simply meant to be seats. So, you know, you wait for your pizza. Uh, and then right over here, you want to put bookshelf, gap to bookshelf, and then the deep plate tile stairs again. The paintings, of course, can just be put anywhere, really. Um, just anywhere where you feel a painting is necessary. So, I mean, like, oh, not there. Wow. Right here and right here. Oh, I want, oh my God, seriously, I want a different one. There we go. Um, and then right here would be pretty nice. Uh, just, you know, just to throw some paintings everywhere just to kind of, Give uh, the restaurant a little bit of detail, uh, and then you're gonna have to go through the door here. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. But um, to where the red concrete is um, on either side of the red concrete, you want to just put uh, stone stair, and that's simply those are simply meant to be cash registers. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty nice little area. Uh, another thing you can do is um, you can grab your black concrete back again, um, wherever that is. There it is, or black carpet. I'm stupid. And uh, you can probably put some black carpet like in front of the register, um, in front of the doors, uh, even though there's already some like in the airlock, but definitely like in front of the register, you can totally add some, or maybe if you want to add like a different colored carpet, you can put maybe one right here. Um, I don't plan on doing that, but again, feel free to do whatever you want with that. So, you know, just decorate the inside however you feel is necessary, you know, to your liking. But yeah, so that's just, that's how that goes. Um, okay, so now we need to make, we'll go ahead and make the storage room. So all you really need for this is brown shulker box, beehive, barrel, uh, maybe some chests if you want to as well. Um, okay, how do I get in here? Okay, so you wanna just come behind the registers. This is where the storage room is. That's quite literally just, um, just brown shulker boxes, beehives, and uh, you know, like, um, bar uh, barrels just scattered around because, you know, it's a storage room, so everything's just scattered randomly. Um, yeah, so, you know, just kind of do whatever you want with that. I don't plan on, that's all I plan on doing with that. So, yeah, once you have all that, you actually did not want to have to, you did not want to get rid of those. I just got rid of those for no reason, so, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Let's see, let's work on, I think it'll be, let's go ahead and work on the fridge and freezer cause just cause they're pretty simple. So go ahead and grab your, um, tr uh, your iron trap doors, grab your item frames. You're gonna need those for sure. Oh, why? Okay. And then you're gonna go on, wanna go ahead and grab your, like your miscellaneous foods. Uh, I recommend like baked potato, mushroom, beetroot soup, um, uh, raw pork chop and bread. And I'll explain why, so once we get in here, I know these sound very weird, but uh, when you come into the fridge and freezer, which is over here, you wanna, so we're gonna start with the, we'll start with the freezer, it'll be easier if we start with the freezer. So come in here, uh, the top half of these um, planks right here, these uh, birch planks, you wanna just put iron trap door and then just uh, block a, 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 a one up, up top of that. Uh, iron trap door and then between the iron trap doors on the wall here you want to just put some uh, and you can also well, oh yeah you guys can't probably put anything up there but um you know some uh, item frames and then just kind of put so in the freezer i recommend just putting like raw pork chop and mushroom these are kind of like the freezer is kind of like where you'd keep like the raw meat so the pork chop is meant to be like the sausage you would put on the pizza and the mushrooms of course the mushrooms you put on the pizza so yeah this is like obviously the freezer is where you keep all the you know the frozen meat so you'd put that in there uh, in the fridge, again, you want to put the iron trap doors just going all the way around in here. Um, and then you can put another layer on top here like so. Same way we did in the freezer, uh, except you're adding more because it's obviously bigger in here. Um, and then just add some um, item frames. And then we got like two baked potato that's meant to be like um, balled up dough. Um, and then, oh, not the mushroom. Um, beetroot soup is meant to be like sauce. And then the bread is, of course, like breadsticks. So, of course, you could, you don't have to put these, you can always put, you know, your own stuff, um, but those are just, like, ideas for, you know, what you would, would probably put in, say, you can even put some more stuff up here if you wanted to. But yeah, that's pretty much how those work, the fridge and freezer is pretty simple, um, you can go ahead and put those, uh, rec definitely recommend keeping the item frames and the iron trap doors, yeah, because you're gonna need those for the kitchen. Uh, we'll go ahead and work on the bathroom now, I think, I know we're just kind of bouncing all over the place, but, uh, I wanted to just do the fridge and freezer because it was, like, the easiest thing in the whole restaurant, so, <laughs> figured we'd go ahead and work on that, uh, let me just, uh, double check, see how the bathroom's laid out, 
Uh, let me make sure I'm just not... Okay, yeah, pretty simple. All right. Had to check. All right, so... Um, all right, so for the bathroom, uh, you're going to need... Uh, you're going to need your item frame, like I so. If I can find it. Um, actually, it'll be easier if we just do this. Okay. Uh, your item frame, you're going to need your uh, quartz stairs, quartz block. Um, what else are you going to need? You're going to need your empty map, your pink dye, your... Um, banner pattern, um, you're going to need your stone button, your weighted pressure plate, um, you're going to need, um, so basically the way to make the white, uh, to make this mirror, that's what this is right here, um, hang on, let me grab, it's going to be easier if I grab a uh, loom, just kind of show you guys, so you take the white banner and you take some light blue dye and you come in here, you put the banner in there, you put the dye in there, and you want to click, uh, this one right here, this option right here, and then, uh, take the banner out, and that's how you make the mirror. It's just easier if I tell you guys than actually show you guys, uh, for some reason, but, yeah, basically, that's how you do that. Um, okay, so once you have got all those materials, you're gonna come to the bathroom, which is just right over here. Okay, so, uh, on this wall is gonna be, yeah, this is where the toilet's gonna be, so you're gonna just... Uh, two quartz block, uh, the bottom quartz block wants to be a smooth quartz stairs, behind the smooth quartz stairs, delete the quartz block, and an upside down stairs. Alright, um, and then beside this quartz block here on either side, you can just put a stone button, weight of pressure plate on top. Uh, we need a trap door for the, um, lid, but beside it, you want to put a iron, uh, or not iron, what am I saying? Item frame with a banner pattern, that's meant to look like a toilet paper roll. Um, and then that's kind of the base of your toilet. Uh, and then for the sink, you just want to put smooth quartz block, half of one smooth quartz block, quartz stairs facing into the wall, um, beside it, uh, above, like, like above, like the quartz, um, block and then on the wall, two item frame, the left one's going to have a pink dye and then empty map, bar of soap, and then paper towels, what that's meant to be. And then like two blocks above the stairs, you want to put the mirror, uh, that's what that's meant to be with the blue dye and everything. Um, and then we'll go ahead and grab the rest of the stuff now, um, which is, um, oh, I didn't actually, oh, wait, no, I did. Okay, so spruce trap door, cauldron, and, uh, where's the trap wire hook? Down here. All right, and then, oh my gosh, okay, <laughs> trap wire hook, there we go. Uh, and then that's, of course, to finish off the bathroom, so trap wire hook above the, um, the stair here, and then spruce trap door on top of the stair, and then just the cauldron right there. And then there you go, that's the bathroom. Pretty simple, so we have a toilet, we have a sink, we have a trash can, so pretty simple um, bathroom there. So, all right guys, so the last thing we need to do is make the kitchen. So let me go ahead and <coughs> grab the materials for that. There's a lot of stuff going into the kitchen. Let's go ahead and grab everything we need here. So we're gonna need a smoker, stone brick wall, uh, let's see, anvil, grindstone, uh, stone cutter, detector rail. Uh, actually, I don't recommend grabbing the detector rail yet. Um, let's go ahead and grab the, um, uh, you're gonna need the polished andesite stairs, the iron bars, uh, go ahead and grab light guard concrete and the, uh, blackstone button. Uh, and then let me go ahead, let's go into the dominoes here. I'll just need to check and see how this kitchen is laid out. Uh, if I can get in there, that is. <laughs> oh, you need white concrete as well. Okay, well, oh, wow. We still need a lot of it. Okay. Alrighty, um, okay, so let's just, okay, let's just use what we got, and then, uh, cause there's still a lot of, like, really, cause again, this kitchen has a lot going on with it, um, so, yeah, let me just, okay, let's go back in here, so we'll go into the kitchen of your dominoes, you're gonna have to, uh, go through the door, of course, okay, so, or we have this, like, corner row of, um, um, you know, you know what this is, you know, yeah, um, you wanna just put smokers on either side of it, and then stone brick wall leading up to here, but then at the top you actually want to have uh, polished andesite stairs. So you're just gonna have a uh, stone brick wall between the smoker and this polished andesite stairs on the wall there. Um, and then that is legit all I remember. Wow, I am so stupid. All right, so we gotta go. Okay, I'm just gonna delete a slab here and just go through the counter. It's gonna be a lot easier if I do that instead of taking the door the whole time. All right, because legit in here I actually deleted all of the slab. I know I should probably put this off recording, but uh, it's just a lot. Okay, so, all right, so I guess, okay. All right, and then, um, wait, no, actually, let me make sure. Okay, sorry guys. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go, okay, so 
All right, then the next thing you want to do is you want to cut... Okay, obviously, you guys are still in your kitchen. I apologize. Let me get back to mine. <laughs> All right, so you're going to come to this wall right beside where the fridge is right here. You're going to have these two metal blocks. You're going to put like a concrete polished blackstone button in front of it. Um, above that, like one block above it, you're going to add iron bars. And then above that, it's polish and inside stairs. So this is meant to be like a fryer. Beside it, you're going to simply add an anvil. Um, and beside it, this is going to be a sink. So you'll add that. Um, what's gonna go here? I think this is white concrete. Um, but yeah. Okay, stone cutter I think is gonna go right beside... Hang on, actually don't do anything. I am an idiot. <laughs> yeah, don't actually do anything yet, guys. I am just being stupid. You can actually go ahead and put away your, uh, smokers, your anvils, and your stone brick walls. Go ahead and grab white concrete. I don't know why I don't have it on me. Um, grab that. Uh, iron trap... Oh my goodness, iron trap tore... And then go ahead and grab chests. Um, and I seriously don't know why. I, I, okay, this tutorial is getting so long, guys. We're already, like, like wow. This, I don't even know how many minutes we're in. Because this is, like, my, I don't know. This is just a tour. Ugh. <coughs> Gosh darn it. Like, my voice legit will not let me talk. All right, so. Um, all right. Okay, yeah, I was right. Okay, good. All right, I'm just being an idiot. Okay. Oh, and then you can also put away your um, blackstone buttons, uh, and you can grab, um, don't grab anything, actually. I'm just being stupid again. All right, so, oh my goodness, guys. This this tutorial is probably going to be at least an hour long, because I'm just an, an, an idiot. <laughs> All righty, so you're going to go ahead and put uh, white concrete beside both of the smokers here. Um, so yeah, this one has a stone cutter that's meant to be like, maybe like where you cut the pizza. I don't know, I know that's kind of ridiculous, but... Uh, and then grindstone right next to the smokers. All right. And then, oh, and then um, beside the andesite, well, no, actually beside the top, like, row of stormbrick stairs here, in the top half of this birch, you want to go ahead and put um, iron trap door with a chest on top. You want to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, oop, yep, make sure it's on the top half of the, not beside the stairs, but beside the, yeah, because you want to be sure to put a stair up there, or, I am so stupid, guys. Chest. I don't know why I even do this anymore, guys. <laughs> Honestly, why do I do tutorials anymore? I'm just stupid. All right. <sighs> Luckily, this is the last part of the tutorial. We don't got to do anything else after this. Um, okay, we can go ahead and just go ahead and throw everything away. Or, or put everything away, not throw everything away. Uh, go ahead and grab your shears and your iron axe. Uh, I'll explain what that is in, the, in a moment. Item frame. You're going to need paper wherever that is, and then you're also getting a brewing stand, you're getting, now you can have your, get your detector rail, and then grab a stone button, and cauldron, and um, a tripwire hook, come back into your kitchen, well, you guys are already still in your kitchen, obviously, but, um, beside, okay, so on top of this gray concrete, you want to put detector rail on top of the anvil, brewing stand, beside this little fryer here is what we made here, cauldron, faucet, that's obviously a sink, um, beside this can just be like a, a item frame, you can put a pizza in there, the pumpkin pie, but below these chests here, above where we have this, um, whatever this is, the grindstone, uh, you want to put two item frames on that, and then, like, shears and iron axe, that's meant to be, like, tools hanging from a rack, you guys can put whatever you want in that, I don't, really, that was just kind of a, my dumb idea of trying to put tools up there, and then paper, those are meant to be, like, orders that they would, like, you know, I don't know if they still do this back, uh, but I, I know back in the day, like, especially at the old diners, they'd, take, like, orders that are on paper, like, you've seen it in Spongebob, you know, like, where they, he takes, like, Sp Squid, Spongebob takes the orders, and he hangs them up on something, that's kind of what that's meant to be, uh, and then just a stone button right here to obviously open the door, but yeah, guys, that is pretty, that is, um, actually the entire inside of Domino's, 100% completed, I wish I was able to do this all, now, I'd actually, there's a reason, yeah, this is the reason why I couldn't do it in, uh, the, uh, the original Domino's tutorials, because, this whole tutorial is already like 30 minutes long, and uh, yeah, the other tutorial is 30 minutes long, so uh, this tutorial, the Domino's tutorial would have been an hour long, that just wouldn't make any sense. So that's why I made the interior tutorial separate, um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, let's take a look at what we've made here, we've got, we've got quite a bit done here, so yeah, I mean, we've got like a little seating area, we've got like a place to get like your drinks, uh, we've got a little menu board, we can go ahead and fix this now, but... Menu bar is where you order your pizza. This is where you, like, sit down and wait, uh, as well as over here. Bathroom, of course, you know, if you need to use the restroom. Uh, oops. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clear all this. There we go. Yeah, you guys can clear your materials out. We're completely done here. But, yeah, and then, of course, obviously, if you work here, you can come over here. And then, this is, of course, like, storage where they store stuff. And then, 
Um, yeah, and then we got like a little fryer right here. You know, they fry up the pizza. So obviously where they wash their hands. This could be like a drink dispenser or something. So where they hang their tools, pick cut the pizza. Uh, I, could, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel like putting a pizza in there, but yeah, that's like a pizza. That's like where you put the pizza if it was ready, I guess, or like space to like box the pizza, I guess. Uh, and then just some chests, and then this is where they hang the orders, cut the pizza, and then this is obviously where they bake the pizza. Freezer, or sorry, fridge, um, this is where they store all the ingredients, you know, if they need to be refrigerated, and then freezers for all the frozen meat. Um, and then, of course, yeah, out here we got ourselves a little uh, trash bin, you know, to take out the garbage. But yeah, that is, um, that is the inside of Domino's completed, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, smash a like and subscribe, uh, and turn on, be sure to turn on post notifications. Uh, so you don't miss when another awesome tutorial like this comes out. Um, yeah, I will be doing more city uh, build tutorials, like city tutorials on this channel for sure. Uh, so be, be sure to stay tuned for those. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, I will see you guys in the next video.